Hey guys, welcome to episode 62 of Knits and Stuff. My name is Alicia and today we'll be talking about works in progress, pretty things, um, fangirling, and local delights. Um, and maybe wibbly wobbly tiny wimmy, probably. <laughs> um, first, welcome to those of you that are new and for those of you that are returning, thanks for coming back. Um, if you haven't already, there's a group in podcast group in Ravelry that you can join. It's called Knits and Stuff Podcast and there'll be a link in the show notes which are at knitsandstuff.wordpress.com. Um, before we get started, sorry that this one is so late. Um, I haven't had a chance to record um, in a space <laughs> that isn't occupied by other people. <laughs> so um, yeah, hopefully there's not too much background noise too because I think they're doing yard work today um around so uh hopefully there's not too much background noise but i did close the window so um we'll see um so works in progress um i have been working on some old whips that i haven't shown in a while and um the first one is in my silver shed project bag um the doctor who I think it's like a medium size. I think this is the medium size um, project bag. And it is my. Make sure I'm not losing anything. Um, my English embroidery cowl. And this is out of um, Uncommon Thread BFL Light DK and the colorway Spumoni. And I'm knitting it on US 8 5.5 millimeters. Um, they're just on some Takumi bamboo needles. I think these are clover, yeah, some clover and any needles. Um, I have a little stitch marker that I got from Loop in London. I got this yarn in London um, as well. So it's my super English cowl, as I sometimes call it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just knit. I don't have a marker on this one, but I knit a couple like a, a few rows, maybe about an inch or so. Um, and I'm still not sure my fiber is falling off of my leg. Okay, <laughs> I'm still not sure um, how far I could probably, I could hold it off to the side and you could still see me and the project. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure how much further I want to, I still have a lot of yarn left. This is how much I have left. So, um, I don't know, because if I wear it, it'll just be scrunched up, and I kind of like the scrunchiness, so maybe even like twice this length? We'll see. Um, yeah, because I was thinking about knitting with just all the yarn that I have, um, but that goes way past how much the pattern, um, calls for, so we'll see how, how it looks. <laughs> um, but that's my cowl and my next work in project <laughs> as I toss things off to the side um, this is in the um, that purple girl triangle bag that I got as part of the um, it was a little kit with a this one was um, I think a Hanukkah dyed stripey yarn and um, came with a little triangle bag and some stitch markers and I also have a Christmas one um, yeah, or is this the Christmas bag? Oh, I think this is the Christmas bag because I gave the other one to Miriam, my friend, who I gifted the socks to as well. So this one is the, um, the Christmas triangle bag. Anyway, um, so I, in here I have, um, some monkey socks that are... Um, out of Koigu... KPPPM in the colorway 704P and um, this is the monkey pattern by Cookie A um, and they're on, I'm knitting these on US ones 2.25 millimeters. I'm going to see if I can kind of, this isn't really a soft blocker, this is more of a ruler. <laughs> but that probably doesn't, I don't know where my you're too far away, I think. <laughs> My soft blockers are. Um, but yeah, there's the heel 
and I'm on the foot right now. Um, I probably have, actually I should do it this way, because I think I still have a good number of um, inches to go. I think I need to knit until like 8 to, um, to something, eight, 8 to 8 and a half maybe inches or so until you have to start the toe. Um, so, and this is just the first sock, and, um, yeah, I think this is that sock ruler that I got from Stitches West that I showed last time. Um, it's very handy. <laughs> and, um, wait, was it last time that I showed it or the time before? I mean, I'm losing track of episodes, but, um, but I like it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so these, oh, I found, um, as I was knitting these, I'm mostly following the pattern, but I did do a fish lips kiss heel on um, for the heel, and um, I found a knot in this yarn. So the Koigu KPPPM comes in two, um, or it comes in a skein of about 200 yards, a messy skein now, <laughs> um, and uh, so I usually get two. And then, um, yeah, that's more than enough to knit two socks out of, but not one is not quite enough to knit like two um, socks with a long cuff. So, um, yeah, and there was a yarn in the 200, a yarn, a, a knot in the 200 yard skein, so I had to undo it. And now I had some extra ends to weave in, but um, it's okay, it happens. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my my socks. Um, now that it's so warm, I don't even want to be wearing socks. It's like 80 something here right now, and I or it's supposed to get up to 80 today, and I don't like it. It's way too hot. <laughs> so, not really the weather for wool socks. Um, and then my third knitting work in pro progress is something that I started. Um, since the last episode and I can get it untangled so this is the beginning of the um, not what is on here <laughs> it's a cable cowl I was going to knit so this is um, some Miss Babs K2 it is um, a three ply chunky yarn and I was going to make a gaptastic cowl which is what is on my show notes right now um, out of this, but I started knitting a Gaptastic cowl and I didn't like um, the way it was coming out. Um, so I changed patterns and I ended up um, choosing a cable cowl, which if I can quickly <laughs> pull up the name and the designer. Okay, after much searching, I finally found um, this. The pattern for this is a cable cowl, um, and it's by Christina Larson, um, and it's a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, it's actually on, just hosted on a blog page, um, but it's a really simple cable pattern, um, and I slightly modified it by making it a little bit wider on the sides. I still kept the cable the same. Um, it's like a 10 by 10 cable, um, and I kept that the same width, but I just added um, a couple stitches to the ends because the pattern only needs about um, 200 yards, and I have about 240, um, and I wanted to make it a little wider anyway, although um, the pattern is meant to uh, loop around twice. So eventually I'm going to sew the end, it's going to be one long scarf, and I'm going to sew the end to um, sew the ends together to make it a cowl and I should be able to double it but um, yeah this is knitting up really fast it's on uh, <laughs> um, it's using my new like like needles um, they're size 11s 8.0 millimeters um, and they're really nice uh, but it's kind of hard to tell with a bulky yarn like how well they're, <laughs> they're working compared to other needles um, because knitting with bulky just feels so different than um, a smaller size. So I do want to 
start something with the smaller size needles uh, just to test them out but I don't know what yet we'll see um, but this is knitting up really fast so bulky yarn um, forgot how fast things knit up so maybe I don't know this will be done just in time for summer <laughs> um, so yeah oh and this I've been keeping it in my Erin Lane um, little viewfinder <laughs> uh, TARDIS sheep Dr. Sheep I forget if there was a name for the bag but um, yeah it's got a little sheep doctors and little tiny tortoises and they're so cute and you can see what's inside and now that I have went washed I have two that are like this now where you can see what's inside um, I want all of my project bags to be like that because I have so many project bags now um, they're hanging on the door over here <laughs> but they I am starting to lose track of what's in what project bag so we'll see um, if I get any more that have these but these are nice so yeah that's all my knitting works in pro progress and I also have some spinning works in progress so let's see if I can bring it up So here is uh, my ladybug, and on it I have the um, Three Feet of Sheep by Frab Frabjus Fiber. Um, and as you can see, I'm now on a bluish purple color. So there were three or four pink shades. Um, this was a gradient set, and then now I'm um, into like the second or third purple. I think I'm in the, this might be the third purple. Yeah, because I think next I have blue, but yeah, it's coming along. I'm trying to get it close. <laughs> um, so yeah, it'll be probably be doing more spinning so it's warmer. I don't know why. Probably do be doing more spinning since it's warmer. Um, yeah, I don't know why I prefer to do spinning when it's warmer, even though I feel like it's the same amount of warmth as knitting. <laughs> I feel like knitting socks. Um, but yeah. So, oh, and then, where'd it go? Oh, yeah. So this is the um, rest of the gradients that I have left, and I'm just going to chain ply um, the, single, the single ply together to make a three ply. And yeah, so that's um, some spinning. And now for pretty things. <laughs> um, I do have um, some yarn from Madeline Tosh um, Yarn Club subscription, which I don't even know anymore what I'm getting because I don't know if that set of blue um, yarn was like extra because I think I'm still getting like a sock one um, I don't know we'll see what I get in the next shipment but I do have some sweater yarn this is the giant bag of sweater yarn um, it is what is it farm twist okay <laughs> it's farm twist in the colorway origami and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven skeins in here. Um, each of them is about 225 yards. This is what it looks like outside. And I don't know why I'm, I have plenty of space over here to hold stuff up and be able to see what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, there it is. It's like a gray and, um, white and black kind of tonal variegated actually it's more I thought it was gonna be more tonal but this is more a little more variegated than I thought so I wonder how well I almost dropped it <laughs> onto the mic um I wonder how uh it'll end up knitting up if it'll be like variegated or if the colors will kind of blend together more it'll be interesting to see but um, this is DK weight yarn. Did I did I say that already? <laughs> I don't think so. Um, so yeah, I think if I make a sweater or some sort of um, clothing item with it, uh, that'll be the thinnest I've knit with. Maybe I can't remember if my other cardigan was out of DK too. 
I know, but I really want to start um, knitting like cardigans and sweaters with um, thinner yarn than like worsted <laughs> because I feel like they would fit a little bit better, but um, or just like lay nicer and be a little bit cooler and not like a giant worsted weight cardigan. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's pretty thing. So now that brings us to local delights. Um, oh wait, no, fangirling first. Um, so yeah, fangirling where I talk about a podcast that I have been enjoying and this episode, um, I keep wanting to say this week when I don't podcast every week so I can't really say that this month. I guess that works <laughs> so this month. Um, I've been watching and catching up on Skein um, Studio Podcast. Yeah, I think that's the full name. Um, so Kristen from Skein Studio makes a podcast where she talks about what she's been working on and designing um, and yarn that I think she doesn't do it as much anymore, but she used to show like some dyeing techniques. Um, and just stuff that she would do in her studio or like new yarns that were coming out um, and new colors but now I think she's not filming in her studio anymore so um, she probably doesn't have as much of that well but then she does knit with her yarns a lot um, so you get to see all of that and yeah I really like she's from Australia and um, it's really interesting to see how as it gets warmer here it gets cooler there so she's knitting and wearing more like winter stuff and I'm here like oh so warm <laughs> so um, yeah I've been enjoying watching her podcast so if you haven't heard of her go check Skein Studio podcast out um, I'll put a link in the show notes and yeah that brings us to local delights so a few weeks ago we went to Vancouver and um, I think I've talked about Vancouver on the podcast before so I won't go into some of the stuff that we, or into detail at least, into some of the stuff that we did like going to Stanley Park or going to the suspension bridge. Um, but there were a couple things that we got to do that we didn't get to do last time. Um, which included finding a really good boba place <laughs> um, called the Bubble Tea Shop and they have um, a lot of great flavors um, and different types of drinks and then um, different types of bubble tea, bubble tea drinks <laughs> and, um, and then they have a bunch of different types of egg waffles which were so good like they have a black sesame one that I really liked um, and then they also have like egg waffle desserts that have ice cream and stuff on it. We didn't try any of that, but um, yeah, we went there a bit when we were in Vancouver. Um, and then uh, we went to the Richmond Night Market, which we didn't get to, which I didn't do last time I was there. And that's like a, a night like carnival kind of without any rides <laughs> um, it's just like food stands and um little like vendor booths and they're all um i think all of the food was just all asian food and um the booths were selling like really cute things oh i should have brought one over i got like these little stuffed creatures <laughs> that you can clip onto like your shoulder or your head and they're little um like octopus um or like cephalopods and they have little like tentacles that come out from them so one that I got was an actual like octopus but another one was a, a Totoro with little like legs coming out it was really cute <laughs> and um yeah so we did the night market um we went to Granville um public market yeah <laughs> and um, got some food from there there's a yarn shop on the Granville um, in the market or like on the island next to the market um, and a couple of like art studios and stuff so that was kind of cool and I got some oh I got some yarn from there <laughs> I completely forgot um, so yeah actually I'll, I'll grab it so the yarn um, shop <laughs> that was on Granville Island. It's called Fiber Art Studio and I picked up some of the yarn that they dyed there um, and I think they have different people. The bag is right in front of the mic. Um, I think they have different people 
um, dyeing up different bases of yarn and oh and I grabbed a business card so there's that fiber oh gosh it's gonna try and focus and then it's gonna take forever for me to like unfocus that afterwards <laughs> so this is fiber art studio on the back they have some stuff that they did there's a lot of like uh, shawls and um, stuff <laughs> like uh, mostly like shawls and scarves and things that they had up on display um, I should have taken some pictures but they were really pretty and and then I picked up some yarn so I got two different um, sparkle sock yarns yeah I think they're both is this one yes, merino yeah merino nylon and stellina so <laughs> this one is um, does this have a name this one doesn't I don't think this has a colorway name but that was really pretty I just really liked the colors and there was another one too that had really pretty colors and I was trying to decide between the two but I ended up going with this one <laughs> and then this one is called coffee and I felt like I just had to to get this um, and it's a little bit the colors are a little bit like richer than what um, is showing up they're a little like darker in real life than here because I have the brightness up pretty high to kind of cancel out this light <laughs> behind me um, and then the last one is a um, is this one called meditation aid I think and it is 70% baby alpaca 30% merino and it is quite soft um, and probably gonna be quite warm and I'm not sure what I'm gonna make with this because it only has 200 yards and I don't really wear like um, those small shawlettes so I'm thinking of like maybe knitting this with something else I have of a similar weight um, it says it's Aaron I think it would work well with like Malabrigo um, yeah and then it, it'd be like two super soft things hmm <laughs> anyway so yeah that's the yarn I got in Vancouver um that back And then, um, what else did we do? We went to a couple of restaurants that we didn't go to last time. Um, Cafe Medina, or just Medina Cafe was one of them. And um, they were really good for brunch. And then we went to Catch, Catch 122. And we also had like a breakfast brunch there, um, but they're open later. Um, and then, yeah, I think that was most of it. I actually had a list of things that I sent to my coworker because they're also going, and I wonder if it's still on here. Oh, it is. Um, oh yeah, and we did, I did the um, Fly Over Canada again that is similar to Soaring Over California in California Adventure, maybe? <laughs> um, where you're sitting in a chair and you're um, flying over video of um, things in Canada. A bunch of like wildlife, nature stuff. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and then we went to Kenya again. Oh, Dynasty Dumpling House um, was really good. I didn't go there the first time I went to Vancouver, or the last time. One of the, I've been to Vancouver three times now, so <laughs> I didn't go there the second time when I had more time to explore, but we went there this time, um, and they just have, it's a Chinese restaurant that has dumplings and stuff. It was really good, and um, Nemesis Coffee was also a place we went to that was tasty coffee and um, nice, like, pastries and light breakfasts breakfasts <laughs> um and then oh and there I also don't have it on this list but there was um we were staying close to it was like commercial and Broadway I think kind of past the stadium and like Costco in Vancouver <laughs> um 
and there was this really good um, bakery slash coffee shop that was around the corner from where, where we were staying. I think it was like bakery saute or something. Sa I'll put a link in the show notes when I remember the name. And um, they had really good um, pastries and drinks. We had, um, well, I had it like a was it? Yeah, I had the an iced matcha latte, and then they made these like matcha mochi loaves, like mini ones, and it was really good. Um, and then they had like good croissants, and um, yeah, so that was all the stuff that we did in Vancouver this trip. And I might even be going back like in December because I'll be going up to Seattle um, for something called PodCon. Oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about. Um, but there is a podcast convention that is, um, starting up. It's by Hank Green from, um, Dear Hank and John, and also from Vlogbrothers, if you know of them. Um, and him and the people that do Welcome to Night Vale, which I haven't listened to, and, um, the people that do My Brother, My Brother and Me, which I also really haven't listened to, um, but they're starting a podcast convention, and, um, it's going to be in Seattle in December, so I will be going to that, um, and see what it's like, but if you're in the Seattle area, it's worth checking out, um, I think it's two days, um, and I'm not sure what they're going to have there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just going to go check it out and see what it's like. And I guess it's also an excuse to go to Seattle and possibly Vancouver again. <laughs> so, yeah, that is that. Um, so maybe I won't talk about Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey. And I'm also really behind in Doctor Who anyway. So we might just do, um, since the season's almost coming to an end... I think by the, my next podcast, it'll be over. So maybe we'll do a season recap um, review and um, after I catch up <laughs> and watch everything. And yeah, so that's all I have. I feel like that was a long episode, but maybe it wasn't even that long. Um, but social media stuff. I'm Eliana Nitz on Ravelry, Unperfect529 on Instagram, Twitter, um, Pinterest, etc. On Twitter, I've been posting mostly like gaming stuff <laughs> because E3 just happened and there was all this news. Um, but yeah, and then but Instagram, I've been trying to post a little bit more, which I feel like I say every time. Um, but I need to post more knitting stuff there. So yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching, and hopefully we'll be able to record in a month. Um, and I will see you guys then. Okay, bye.